I just heard my Didi, my mom on the phone with my brother talking about Jesus, my brother sir, seeking the Lord Jesus Christ to serve him. And they were discussing, Jesus said, what well, Jesus said, he that heareth my sayings and doeth them. So evidently, Jamie's my, the, the, the name of my brother. Now, Jamie would not forgive me. I was cruel to him in the past. But now he hates me. And he goes out of his way to avoid me. He will not forgive me. He will not forgive me. And he makes excuses why he won't forgive me. Him and Didi and my mom were talking on the phone. They just went over what Jesus said. He that heareth my sayings and doeth them. Well, dear brother, Jesus said to forgive and shall be, you shall be forgiven. If you forgive not men their, men, men their trespasses, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive you your trespasses. In the parable, Jesus tells about this man who was forgiven. An, um, a huge amount of money by the Lord, by the Lord. But this same man went out and found a fellow servant who owed him twelve dollars, and and would would not forgive his fellow servant. So the forget, so the Lord revoked the forgiveness that he had given his servant, and threw him to the torments for not forgiving his fellow servant. But then again. Others appeal to Paul, the Apostle Paul, who didn't say, forgiven, he shall be forgiven. Never in once did the Apostle Paul say, forgiven, he shall be forgiven, as Jesus taught. Instead, to the Colossians, I think, he says, forgiven one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. What's going on? What is the truth? Jesus, are you even real? And Jesus is blessing my brother with his presence. When my brother will not forgive me. Did not this same Jesus say, If you bring your gift to the altar, and you remember you have aught with the brother, first go and be reconciled to the, thy brother, and then come offer thy gift. Now my brother will offer excuses, but you know, when I see, when I see God not enforcing his own laws, it makes me doubt if he's real. When I see people like Rabbi Zechariah, he committed atrocious sins against women, and yet God was still blessing him. And Jimmy Swag committing adultery, and he, he's still preaching today. God has not taken away his spirit from Jimmy Swagger today. But yet, I know a person who was saved. He, we corresponded on Facebook, and he said, Lord, was convicted him to give up smoking. He did not give up smoking. So the Lord left him, took away his salvation. Pastor David Wilkerson, the late Pastor David Wilkerson, was talking about he was in a hotel, and there was an R-rated movie, and he was uh, just out of, uh, out of curiosity, he wanted to watch the movie. And he said, the Lord said, the Lord told him in the spirit, you do and we're through. I'll take away your anointing. So God would take away the salvation of a preacher watching an R-rated movie. But God did not take away the, the, the God just totally glosses over it when Ravi Zechariah and Jimmy Swaggart commit worse sins than watching an R-rated movie. Jesus, I have to ask you, Jesus, are you real? Or are, we, are you the product of our own beliefs? I don't know. Now my brother will probably say, bring, bring up his excuse for not forgiving me. That parable, what not that parable? What Jesus says: If you have a problem with the brother, go tell it to him alone. If he repents, you have gained your brother. If he does not hear you, bring two or three witnesses. That in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word shall be established. If he does not hear them, bring it before, before, to, before the church. And if he does not hear them, then let this brother be as a publican 